hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel code logic so today we are going to see how we can connect our angular application with the firebase database before going further if you are new here then please subscribe to our youtube channel now without wasting too much time let's get started firstly we'll create an angular application for that uh, we'll open a command prompt and then we'll type a command ng new angular firebase crud so it will create a project name with the firebase angular crud we will use the routing module here so that's why uh, we'll type yes there and we'll use simple css and it will create our project once project is ready we'll go inside our project directory CD Firebase Angular Crud. Okay, and we'll open it in uh, Visual Studio Code. Okay, you can see our project has opened here inside SRC app directory. You can see all these files are there. We'll create a new terminal here. and we'll type command ng serve it will build our project and it will run our project on port 400 okay now uh, we'll go inside our browser and we'll search for the firebase okay we'll go with the first result here you need to uh, log in with your gmail i already logged in now click on get started button it will redirect you to the console window okay firstly we'll uh, create one new project okay and uh, we'll continue we don't want this analytics for this project okay then we just create a project and it will create a firebase project inside which we'll get the authentication and the database okay our project is ready so we are on the home page of the project here you can see inside settings we'll go in project setting and we'll add our application here for that uh, we'll register our app once the registration is complete it will generate a code okay you can see here the code has generated now uh, in our visual studio we'll add command ng add angular slash fire this command will download the firebase for us and once it is complete it will be asked you uh, some functionalities which you want to implement inside this so we'll select the authentication and then we'll select the fire store for storing the data and yeah that's it and we'll hit enter and it will create the project for us okay as you can see it is installing and it is completed now so uh, it is connected with our application we will copy this code and we will go inside our environment.ts file and we will paste it here and we'll change some naming conventions like we'll remove that const variable and we'll change the name firebase we'll remove semicolon and that equal to sign also okay that's it and we'll close this file and we'll go inside app.module.ts file 
and we'll air import angular fire module from angular fire compact okay and inside the import section we'll use angular fire module dot initialize app and in bracket will pass that enormous dot firebase okay that's it that's it for the video thank you for watching the video guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to uh, comment below if you have any doubts okay thank you see you in the next video till then bye bye